with the idea of experimenting with an oxygen and hydrogen generator made from objects I had on hand at home, I started by finding a couple of brand new pot scrubbers, which according to the manufacturer are made of stainless steel. I had some mouthwash bottles with their lids on, and from which I had removed their bottom. I also had a jug of purified water made with transparent pet material. Using a hot object, in this case a knife, I made a small cut so I would insert the tip of the scissors and cut along the line I show now as dotted. Using a piece of copper wire, I entwined the fibers of the scrubber with the copper wire, fastening them firmly and covering the copper with some silicon. I bent the wire to the shape of the bottle and fastened it with some good quality electrical tape. In this way, I was able to fasten the mouthwash bottles inside the jug. In this case, one of the wires was red and the other was yellow. Again, using a hot object, in this case a gun-type soldering iron, I pierced the caps and filled them so they could tightly house a piece of hose, which I also found in the old stuff box. Once the hoses were in place, with a little silicon, I made sure they there were no leaks. I waited until next morning for the glue to set. I had a container that collects the still water produced by my air conditioner. Using this water I dissolved 100 grams of pure baking soda and I filled the project jug until the solution was almost one quarter of an inch from the edge of the project jug. Using a couple of car batteries I applied 24 volts to the red and yellow wires that hold the jars in place. I connected the positive to the red wire so it would produce oxygen and the negative to the yellow wire so it would produce hydrogen. Immediately bubbles began to appear in both mouthwash bottles. Where I connected the positive terminal, oxygen was produced. Where I connected the negative terminal, hydrogen was produced. As the pressure started building up, bubbles began to appear inside the glasses. I will keep experimenting with different parameters. The first thing I'm going to try is using a higher voltage. I hope this video has been useful to you. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel. Chavatarin.